after you get these numbers right in your head, the helger position, you tie the sail, I guarantee you can rig the boat in less than an hour and go sailing. That's when you get a boat, you go to the walls. Those who are going to the walls this year, oh, they're going to get a boat out of the box, rig, and go sailing. Do not waste time, you know, fooling around the boat or the minor details. Because you have a brand new boat. I mean, you got to use the boat. You know, keep it simple. As I said, it might look complicated, but once you have your, you know, I've been doing this for years, so, okay. yeah, I don't really go that accurate about the two millimeter thing. Right. All I know, if I, I, I rig my boat, pretty much the same. I haven't changed a bit. I just seven to eight years. I go sailing, and if I don't see anything that I like on the boat, instead of start fooling around with the sail touch, I might change the gooseneck position, probably move the gooseneck a little bit further forward if I feel I don't have enough power in. Because at the end, you know, it all at the end, it all turns into what? How much weather helm do you have on the boat? That's the reason why you properly set the boat up. If in lighter you're having trouble pointing, well, you might end up relying on the gooseneck. Once you do these things the same, there's the loft tension, and you, you have these concepts clear and simple, at the end it all depends, you know, how things work around your boat. I mean, like a couple of times, I had a really flat sail that didn't seem fast in light air, but I just moved the gooseneck further forward. Keep things simple. If you start thinking, oh, I have a flatter sail, and in the middle of a regard, I'm going to start playing with this, it's going to complicate things, you know, especially trying to change a system in the middle of a championship. Is that... Same tension on the lower bill? Yeah, I t to my, my approach is the same, same tension, you know, two to three millimeters. Now, for the light guys, and this is something people were you know, using in the 70s and 80s. I haven't seen it with the North Sail, but it would seem like if you, look, like on the last three or four sail ties, if you open, if you increase this gap gradually, you know what I mean? You, 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 this double sail time, you open the gap here between the, the head of the sail and the spar. So if you kind of like increase the separation between the loft tape and the spar, and you do the same thing on the foot, you kind of flatten the sail and open up the leech. Yes, exactly. So that might seem helpful for some light people. You understand that? Remember, the, as, I, as I said, this sail is so round that when you trim on the main sheet, God, it, I mean, you sometimes you see the leech and it looks like crap because it's all round. But they're all the same. So one way to depower the boat is by flattening and opening the leech out there. Is there any question? Okay, so summarizing, head tension, loft tension, held air, is that all? I'm pretty sure you'll have questions, you know, throughout the week. All right, let's just hoist the sail now. Spectra came out, we, we were using like really thick helders. Mm -hmm. This is exactly the same lion I use because it almost doesn't stretch and it has such a small cross section, so it means 